It's all right. Come on. My feet are killing me. I wouldn't take those off here. Not across this yard. The horse, you know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you might not get you in. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Keep it down. In there, he's still up. You said he'd be in bed. He always got to bed at this time. Oh, God. I am <laughs> not going to walk all around the streets anymore. No, 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 of course not. Let's go in. No, no. He won't go up to bed. I know him. He'll just sit there watching us. <laughs> Look, he'll go up to bed in a minute. Let's just wait here for a while. I'm not standing against a wall all night. I'm too old for all that. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we don't have to. Come on. Come over here. Well, I'm going to give him five minutes. That's all. Then I'm going. Yeah, this looks all right. There's some straw in here. Yeah, there's horse in there as well. <laughs> you wake him up and he'll kick the doors down. <laughs> come on, come on. This will do very nicely. Come on, sit down. For five minutes, that's all. Then I'm off. Yes. Hang on. Kick the window. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Mm. I'm potty about you, I hate this. Mm. Don't get carried away. I'm not the open air type. No, no, no. <laughs> I hate this. Oh. I'm cold. Oh, blind. Well, I am. Hang on. Here you are. Put this around, you? <laughs> Where'd you get it from? Off the horse. Ah! <laughs> oh, it gives him a rub down every day. It's all hairy, look. You wears won't hurt. Ugh. Oh, Avis, I've been going potty about you all week. Look at me. Oh, you're so... Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? <laughs> what? That's a poem. You upset about something? Yes. Oh, look, he's gone all sulky. What's the matter? I'm well, trying to make love to you. Well, I thought we were going to wait till we got inside. <laughs> so I was trying to warm you up out here so we wouldn't have to mess about. <laughs> you take too much for granted. It's been the same all night. You, you're being awful about it. Anyway, I thought we were going to go in straight away. So that was the idea, wasn't it? Do you really like me, Alan? Yes, yes. Of course I do. Did you mean what you said to me in the pictures? About me being better looking than Ursula Andres? I wouldn't give her house room. Oh. She's got nice hair, though. Yeah, but that don't smell as nice as yours, though. Mm. Harold? Do you like kinky girls? <laughs> what do you mean? You know, leather and big boots. I can take it or leave it. Why? Well, it's just that when she come out of the sea all wet, with her dagger strapped to the side of her bikini, your hand went all clammy. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to see me come out of the sea like that, Harold? Yes. yes. Oh, what would you do then, Harold? Oh. Yes. Harold. Oh, Harold. Harold. <laughs> oh, Don't worry. Oh, how much longer are you going to be out there? You know the time is? It's all gone through the clock. As in, really? Yes, it is. Where are you? <laughs> Have you got a bird out there? <laughs> I'm just seeing if the horse is all right. Go on, tell him. Tell him you're old enough. Tell him to buzz off. Mind his own business. <laughs> oh, so we've got a talking horse now. <laughs> Get rid of her and come on in. You've got a hard day in front of you. I'm locking up in two minutes. Oh, he died to the extreme, that one. One of these days, I'll stick one right on him. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about this, Avis. 
Look, when, when, when shall I see you again? You don't mean to say you're going to go in? Oh, I've got to, have not I? I mean, he's going to lock I up. I've never heard anything in. like it in the old of my life. A grown man being told what time he's going to go in. Oh, it's not quite it's like ridiculous. that. It's ridiculous. You're 38. I know, but he... Look, you've got to stand up to him. Don't let him walk all over you like that. Why don't you get a place of your own? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. He relies on me. So you're going in? Well, I've got to. Oh, I see. Doesn't matter about me, then. Doesn't matter about me walking home on my own. Be reasonable. I won't get back till half past one. He's on his own. What about me walking through the streets by myself? Get yourself a taxi. Go on, he's a quid. Oh, no. You keep your money. I don't want it. Buy yourself some comics. <laughs> I'm walking to the end of the street. Oh, no. You mustn't. Because that'll mean you walking back all on your own. We mustn't have Daddy worrying about you anymore. <laughs> You're know, asking for a clout round here, well, aren't you? <laughs> right, mate. Go on, go in. Daddy will have your hot milk all ready for you. You great fairy, what are you? Ivy, Ivy, don't go. Come on, and the cow promise, Ivy. Oh, I won't tell you again. Come on in. And your old milk. You rotten little skin bag. What have I done wrong now? You loathsome little man, you. You dirty, smelly little pile of nasty. That's no way to speak to your father. Father? Herod was a better father than you are. You knew I had a bird out there, didn't you? Why did you have to humiliate me like that? I didn't humiliate you. All I said was it's time you come in. That is humiliating for a man of my age. I'm perfectly capable of deciding when it's time to come in and when it's time to go out. Gordon Bennett, if I can't stay out late at 38, turn the dogs late enough for anybody. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm Harold Steptoe, not bleeding Cinderella. <laughs> I can die and I've been treated like a child. Every bird I've ever had, somewhere along the line, you put your spoke in, haven't That's you? That's not true. I never have to you bringing birds back. Oh, I know. You enjoy it. You're at the keyhole most of the time, seeing I'm getting on. That's a lie. Nice you know. Every time I bring a bird home here, next morning you come downstairs with a cold in your eye. <laughs> you flatter yourself, mate, if you think I've time to waste looking in at the fumblings of an amateur like you. No. <laughs> well, if I'm an amateur, it's because I don't get enough practice. I do have on my neck. You will, no doubt, be pleased to know that Avis has joined the ever-increasing ranks of those what has given me the elbow. <laughs> Another threat to you has been got rid of. I will live in a monastery with the amount of crumpet I get. <laughs> I feel better at the end of a day as well. No, this is quite right. I ought to get a place of my own. A place of your own? Yes. Well, it's the only way, Dad. I, I, I don't get any privacy at all. I mean... I, I could come to work in the morning, then in the evening, when I'm finished, I'll go home. Like anybody else. So, I'm going to be stuck here on my own, then? I shall see you every day. It's the evenings that are the worst. That's when you need people most, in the evenings. I, I've only kept going because of you, Harold. I've no other reason for living. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> You've got your telly and your bingo. You'll be better off as well. But I don't get on each other's nerves so much. I'll be much pleasanter to live with when I'm getting my share. I won't be so neurotic. Good Bennett, I mean, it's just not right. A fellow my age living at home with his dad. Oh, I suppose it happens to everybody. That's the mistake we make, I suppose. We devote all our lives to our children. And then when we need them most, they're off. We don't think that in the twilight years we'll be sitting at home alone, just waiting. That's all. Waiting. <laughs> the flickering candle getting weaker and weaker until one day it suddenly splutters and goes out. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Lying there, <laughs> stiff and cold. <laughs> and more, 
unloved, unwanted. <laughs> that is word for word what you told me 12 years ago when I wanted to join the Merchant Navy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daddy, I'm not going to fall for it again. We're all in the same boat. I'm getting old. We're all dying. It's not so many of you are born. <laughs> well, you've had your life. I've not started mine yet. You have a funny idea what life is. There's more in life than catching birds. Is there? Well, when I've got one, I'll start investigating. <laughs> now, could you try to talk me out of it? I'm going. There's no more to be said, then, is there? No. I'm sorry, but there it is. Oh! <laughs> so start looking for a place first thing in the morning. Well, good night then. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> if you can bear the sight of me. <laughs> oh well. If we get food tonight without having to call the doctor in, I shall be very surprised. <laughs> think it ought to go. I ought to go in the dustbin. <laughs> oh, no, it's not my place. What is it? What's it look like? It's a bust. It'll be the only one you give up here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to get a flat right on top for? Because that's where penthouses is usually located. That's the gas works over there. <laughs> you have to to pick that out. You can see other things as well. Now, where's the kitchen? Over here. <laughs> nice and compact, isn't it? Yeah, you better get yourself some little birds as well. <laughs> get a big eater in here, you've had it. Oh, that's it. I can see you're not really interested. Oh, well, I expect you're anxious to get back home to Chasse Fontainebleau. Well, excuse me, I've got my own packing to do. I shall see you first thing in the morning, half past eight on the dot. Have the horse ready. Eight and a half guineas. You must be off your champ. Eight points have been penny! You can't put a price on freedom! Hold on it. The last. I'm away! After 38 years, I've finally broken the cord! <laughs> this is how tigers must feel when they escape from the zoo. I've <laughs> got a lot of catching up to do. Let's see. Might as well start now. Uh, which lucky girl is going to have the privilege of launching it? <laughs> Deadwig. Deadwig. She's a raver. <laughs> Mad about me. Oh, that's good. Stop now what they're missing. <laughs> Hello, Oh. <laughs> That'll be one of her first chores. <laughs> Afterwards. Guess who? <laughs> it's Harold. Harold. Harold Steptow. Steptow. <laughs> yes, the wagon bow man. Well, long time now see. Okay. 
Deadly. How about you and me getting together this evening? My place? No, no, I've moved. Dad, that's what I'm phoning you about. I've got a place of my own. No, I'm just taking a little box in town. A penthouse. <laughs> I thought you might like to be the first to uh, see it. No, I've got a couple of bottles here. I thought... Pardon? Why can't you wash it another night? Well, after Burke's Law, then. <laughs> well, how about tomorrow night? Oh. But are you fixed for next week? The week after? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, don't, don't worry about it. I mean, let's forget it. No, no, no. You've not let me down. No, I won't be on my own. No. You know, well... I'll, I'll see you around sometime, right? Eh? <laughs> uh, stupid bitch. <laughs> Ruby. Ruby Johnson. Fancy you for getting her. What a darling. Daddy. Ruby. You're like a dream. Not always what you see. <laughs> Hello, Ruby. This is Harold. <laughs> And the way he starts talking, baby. Just grab your coat and make your way over to the penthouse flat. Nineteen, say, George. Pardon? Two what? Married? No, no, I don't want to speak to him. <laughs> no, really, I... Oh, hello. Congratulations. No, no, of course I won't phone again. I'd... Well, there's no need to take that attitude. I mean, I didn't even know that I was married. Oh, hello, hello? That great twit. <laughs> Well, that's a good start, anyway. Jenny. Her boat race isn't up so much. It's got a good figure, though. You might as well do her a favour. Cooking Albert. Smells lovely. It's very kind of you to come round like this, Mrs. Blackett. Oh, no, not Mrs. Blackett. Beryl. <laughs> We've known each other long enough. Yeah, it has been a long time. How long has George been dead? Three years. Oh, I expect you feel lonely. Yes, I have. I mean, you're still a young woman. Oh, you're not so old yourself, Albert. <laughs> <laughs> you should have come round before. You would have been very welcome. I didn't like to. Not with your son here. I mean, it might have been embarrassing for you. Sons can be very funny about these things. Well, now he's gone, there's no reason for you to stay away, is there? I hope you'll come round whenever you feel like it. I will. <laughs> if you would like me to. Oh, I'd like that very much. <laughs> oh. Volnay 57. Oh, lovely. I'm, uh, I'm glad we met up again. So am I. <laughs> to us. I thought I'd tell you something else when you went off last night. Oh, I'm sorry, Harold. I had a late night. <laughs> <laughs> I 
thinking about this all week. No, 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 it's on the side. It's on the side. Now, now what's going on? But now it's a landlady. I know you're in there, now. I thought so. I thought so. Come on, out. That's what you don't understand. Don't tell me she's your sister. There's no women allowed in here after 12 o'clock. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> a respectable house, this is. I guess where you're going. Oh, I can't be bothered, Harold. Don't ring me, I won't ring you, all right? Hey, miss. <laughs> and you can pack your bags and go as well. I'm not having this sort of thing going on under my roof. I want you out of there first thing in the morning. Don't you worry, darling, I'm about the morning. I'm going now. Good. Didn't like the look of you when you arrived. I wasn't exactly overcome with desire, neither. <laughs> Get out. I'll call the police. I shall pull on tomorrow morning for the rest of my effects. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, Albie. Let's hurry up and get in. Don't call me Albie. Look, look, you don't want to come in tonight. Why don't you go home? I'm tired. I want to go to bed. I'm an old man. <laughs> you weren't an old man yesterday evening. Well, I am tonight. You're as old as you feel. I feel terrible. Oh, isn't he miserable today? Come on. Give the little smile, Leave <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let your age, old woman, for God's sake. Go on. Open up. I'll soon make you feel young again. Go on. <laughs> It's me son. He's come home. Oh, dear. You can't come in now. Uh, 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 goodbye. It's been nice. I'll see you. Uh, when? Uh, 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 I'll ring you. Tomorrow. Uh, what I'll about tomorrow? I'll see you. I can't promise now my son's come home. Oh, Albie. Oh, oh, Don't oh, call me Albie. Don't you come in for a little minute? No, you can't. Control yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you call me, sir? He's gone up last one. Are you coming in? Just coming. <laughs> Gotta go. Good night. It's been very nice. How am I gonna get home? Same way as you came here. Walk. <laughs> what a gentleman. I'm glad I found out in time. Oh, yes, you're very lucky. All of the lot we are. You're better off out of it. Good night. Oh, I'll tell you again. Come on in. Let's come in. Oh, Harold. Am I glad to see you? Oh, please, Harold, stay here with me. I need protection. They're driving me crazy. <laughs> Come on out. I've got dead inside a month. Well, you know how it is. Oh, this just on now, on now. They never stop. They'll never let you alone, will they? Oh, no, it's terrible. It's all right for you, but I'm too old for it. Oh, please stay, Harold. Here, you won't have to bother what time you come in. And you can bring any birds in here you like. I, I won't interfere. I'll just go to bed. I could do with the rest. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? All right. I'll stay. Oh, thank you, Harold. Thank you. You're a good boy. Here you are. Drink your milk. I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good night, Swiss. Yeah, I will. Oh. Never again. Good night, Harold. Good night, then. I'm glad you're home. So am I. <laughs> <laughs>